being in a leadership role right now is like a game of whack-a-mole where we jump to extinguish one myth at a time. Continuing coverage now from Springfield where officials are speaking out after their town was thrust into the spotlight about the influx of Haitian immigrants. Brittany Harry is live in Springfield with the latest after a press conference today. Well, yeah, so we are here right now in Springfield. As you mentioned, all day the city building behind me here, City Hall, has been closed, according to city officials, due to a threat that was received this morning via email to uh, certain agencies in the city and also to media outlets. Again, that's according to city officials. Now, all of this comes a couple of days after a comment that was made during the presidential debate on Tuesday. And there's some people here in the city who say that there's panic in the city right now. Adding panicking at the same time because it, it creates a lot of uh, so much panic amongst the Haitian community. Some residents of the Springfield community are feeling uneasy right now following a comment made by former President Donald Trump during Tuesday's presidential debate. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats, they're eating they're eating the pets of the people that live there. It was this comment that also put Springfield, Ohio in the national spotlight. The claim the city manager and others have said is not true. Being in a leadership role right now is like a game of whack-a-mole where we jump to extinguish one myth at a time. No, they are not eating cats. And as our government said, dogs, we haven't seen one account of that. And let me assure you that if that was happening here in our city, I would have received complaints about it. Today, members of the pastoral community spoke about the unrest in the city right now, calling for peace and love among all people. Immigrants who have arrived in Springfield, and I'm talking like 98 to 99 percent of the folks who are here are here legally. We are a city of love, a city of compassion. And what is happening in our city right now is absolutely unbelievable. I am calling on uh, Trump. I'm calling on J.D. Vance to retract their messages. But residents have had many additional concerns with the influx of Haitians. Governor DeWine announced earlier this week plans for the state to offer help. Work with the Clark County Health Department and other health care providers to dramatically expand access to primary care. Uh, I am committing today a minimum, and I've instructed Dr. Vanderhoff this, a minimum of two and a half million dollars over the next two years. So City Hall is expected to reopen tomorrow. The city did post that on Facebook and also said it was closed as a precautionary measure. And at this point, they are still investigating that bomb threat. I'm reporting live in Springfield, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now.